Hi, welcome to WFMR, a space to learn about WFM topics. Today we'll see how to use Erlang C with both Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets. To give you some context, Erlang Code is available in multiple websites for free. You don't need to download anything or use an add-in. You just need to copy the VVA code or the script into the spreadsheet and start using it. Let's get right into it. For agent requirements, I'll show you two formulas, agents and fractional agents. You can choose either. Only difference is fractional agents will get you the exact number you need and agents will round it up to the next whole number. Let's take a look at the actual formulas. They will require us to provide some input in a specific order, service level that we want to achieve, the service time or time in which we want to achieve it, the volume and the HD in seconds. As you can see, both formulas require the exact same inputs and you will get same results in Microsoft Excel or in Google Sheets. Okay, next, I like to show you a couple other formulas that I'm sure will be useful for you. First formula is service level. If you want to calculate the service level you will obtain in a specific interval with the amount of agents you have, then this is your formula. The formula is called SLA and will require the following inputs, number of agents, the time in which you expect the calls to be answered, volume, and the AHD. As you can see, it's the same exact inputs for both Microsoft Excel and Google Sheets. And one thing to mention is on the service level, the more agents you have, the higher the service level you will get. Okay, N let's go for the next one. Next one is occupancy. In the code, the actual formula will be called utilization. Some people use these terms occupancy and utilization interchangeably, but this is one of those situations where there is not really a wrong or a right answer. It simply depends on who you talk to. For the exercise, we're going to just call it occupancy. And what we really want to know, what we really want to understand is how busy agents will be with a specific amount of volume and AHT. The formula will require the following inputs, number of agents, volume, and AHT. This formula, as we can see in the examples, uh, will tell you a percentage and then the more agents we have, the lower the occupancy will be. And as you can see, it's the same here in Google Sheets. And the last formula I would like to show you is ASA. The actual formula is called ASA and will require the same inputs as we required for occupancy number of agents, volume, and HD. And as you can see, you will